do, I don't think it'd have been bold. So he's got uh, just a little bit of an area where he knows he can get better at that full of length ball, particularly when it's moving around. So wonder if he can just you know, the movements are still the same, but just bat a little bit further outside the crease. He's got that big stride back, hasn't he? Hmm. I'll just help him out a little bit. Interesting. Uh, how many failures is that? When was his last score? Andrew Bio give us balance his last few innings. I mean, he's had such a brilliant start to his test it's career. Just when it's moving around. Yeah, I think when it's and moving. Fuller around, and yeah. moving around. I mean, to be fair, you know, it, it wouldn't be the first batsman to have found that difficult. Henry in now bowls. Bell defends nicely. One just talk about Bell for a second one. It was a really superb delivery that got Ian Bell in the first innings and just trimmed the off bail. Perfect ball. I do think that for such a good technician, if he has one weakness, it can be he can just square up a little bit and make balls look even better than they are. Yeah. And when he gets alongside it, I think it's when he plays his best. Henry in now and Slightly squares up. So that's what they're trying to do. You can see yeah. that they're targeting that kind of full of length and just try and take it down the slope with a bit of shape away in, in terms of the air and then try and get that right shoulder into play of Ian Bell. You can see what yep. New Zealand, that's why they've got those five slip catching. He's come out with a, a real intent to score, which I always encourage any player that has a few low scores to come out and do. Henry in again bowls, Bell defends on the back foot this time. And it's funny because then you can't play better than why don't you do that all the time? <laughs> did you actually uh, did you consciously say I'm be well, you know, if you had a Yeah. You, know, well, you, just, you say to yourself, well I'm rather just prodding around and you know getting the low scores, just look at the ball to score. Yeah. And that's when everything starts to Yeah, play. and then it just clears everything out. I'm just looking and watching that ball to score off it. Henry in, full ball, Bell digs it out. You don't worry about the field, so he's in real good mind. You know, don't worry about my driver, that ball is five slips. So if you're thinking about the slips, you're thinking about the field, well, you're not actually thinking about hitting the ball. You know, you're not saying, oh, I'm going to snick it, so that's, that's mm. a negative mind. So you're just thinking, right, score, score. Forget the field, I'm going to look to get my foot to that ball and, and use my bat, use my hands, and I'm going to hit it. Mm. Henry in now bowls and Bell leaves nicely. State side was on, watched it through to the keeper. Have we got any sleeping bags? We might as well sleep here tonight, haven't we? Have you got any agus? You get a barbecue going up here, Mike. Oh, it could do, couldn't we? Get, might be against There'll the be few. a bit of fizz somewhere. There's always a bit of fizz around and a bit of a sing along. A few board games. Tough Nully was having a board game. Night Where last is night. Tough? He's still playing his board games, I think. Still playing Boulder Dash. Henry in now, bowls to Bell, plays a nice flick off his toes. Goes down to fine leg. Yeah, lucky well, there's a 7 2 and you pick out one of, of the all the grounds in the world. I, I won't mind sleeping there. I think it's one of the best. And so, I don't know where you meant to. Well, yeah. the Caribbean, I don't think it's that much of comfort. Not looking to drop Sleep. anchor in one of those little carpets. Just lay on the floor and scrunch your suit jacket up as a pillow. Yeah, a few different there you got window, you get a bit hot at night, you could open that. Nice view, wake up in the morning, couldn't you? Because nips at St. John's Wood High Street for breakfast. Or a few laps for a warm, you know, a bit of jog. Plenty of, uh, plenty of space here, there's lots of different rooms that we could have. Use all the different com box, all have a bedroom each. Yeah, Andrew's just got balance his last, what's he got his last three innings? I got 18 and 23. Yeah, and then two failures here. Two failures, yeah. Yeah. The first time he's failed four times in a row. Bolt in now, bolts to Bell. He drives extravagantly through the offside, doesn't quite time it. And you get runs though. Couples, ball goes just behind square on the offside. There's a big drive. Pushed across him from the left arm of Bolt. Get the morning papers delivered, don't we? Machine. <laughs> Incredible coffee. Brilliant job. That has uh, put a spring in all our steps, yeah, haven't it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Still that hum, isn't there, Mark? We can hear on the effects mic. Bolt in now, and Bell nicely played off his toes. Works a very fine leg, just a single. Why are the lights on? I was just, yeah, I mean, it's borderline the light, I would say. I thought when they put the lights on here, and they did earlier on in the day, that they had to keep them on all day. Did you ever play in a, a test match with lights? We played in the, the one in New Zealand. And we, I can't remember what time we finished. It was late, late, we couldn't see the ball in the outfield. Well, thank you for that, Jonathan. He just reminded me, in Bangalore, we had them on when I handled the ball. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, I couldn't see, could I? I couldn't see, I didn't know where I went, huh? I could Lights were on the whole map, I just couldn't see. Always got a little thing in there. Bolted now. What I was going to ask you was, I don't know if there lights from the beginning, whether there's any anything weird about playing with both artificial and like with a red ball. Because I, you know, it was a bit strange. It's very difficult. It's very difficult to know where the ball is. Particularly if you're about to handle it. Yeah, he's a bit trickier. You just got that fence in the batsman. It's a bit harder. Ball in. Ball's for Cook. Excellent defensive shot. Full of confidence. You wait till you at least. I'm actually, I'm coming up, but not, I'm coming back a few things to do before this. But I'm not going to do it. Some lovely lights in heaven and there. You're proud of them, are you? You're very much. They're white robes. They're red. Right. <laughs> when were they? Just recently. Well, in now, oh, Cook thought he was going to flay that. It was the in-swinger, Mark was just gesturing with his hand. And then he would have been too close to his body to cut. Cook left it alone. Ten to seven, and we've still got essentially over an hour's play to go. Could finish at eight. Yeah, it's half seven, isn't it? Yeah, half seven, yeah, half seven half. I'll get the, the whole licks on. So I want to read us a bedtime story. Come down after a hard day's play. Bolt in now. Cook defends on the back foot this time. Bolt flicks the ball back to keeper. In the game, six for two. Are we going to have some spin, Michael? I would think so. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's that time. Mowing ball well earlier in the day. He's got some purchases. Left-hander of Alistair Cook, we're off spin at the target. Those pads, got quite nicely in the first innings, I thought. I thought he had a little bit of to get some nice drift in the air. I'll be interested to see how Bell plays him, because he does like to dance down, doesn't he, hit the ball over the top. He likes to, to make a it. statement early as well, doesn't he? And he does encourage that, because he gives it a little bit of flight. Yeah, the New Zealand, I think it was in 2001. I'm sure it was at Auckland when we first started to use them. And it was pitch blow, we couldn't see. Just played the overs, just finished the overs in those days. And it just seems to be there at 9 o'clock at night. Mark Butcher was on it, I mean, Butch usually played well at that time of night. Woken up. <laughs> a real spring in his step. Craig is going to bowl. Put it to the right. Here we go, I'll scratch it. First leg from Spin, and this is the last second of this. Short leg, Smith from Taylor. Catching mid wicket. Conventional field. Ian Bell on strike. Craig in. Bowls and Bell. Defends to extra cover. Will you be uh, watching the Eurovision? Do you know Some what? Contest. Not only will I not be watching the other but I'll be actively avoiding it. <laughs> <laughs> Craig in now, and Bell defends. In actual fact, it's slightly darkened by otherwise buoyant spirits by reminding me that such a thing exists. Oh, it's, it's, it actually, the, the singing element is, you can't stand, but it's the... <laughs> the voting element. Yeah, the voting is the best bit. <laughs> Graham Norton is here. Craig in now, and Bell, late cuts, under edge of the bat. Need to get a couple, we didn't quite time it out of the middle of the bat. Yeah, I enjoyed it, and all those votes. I think 
think there's a little bit of a conspiracy theory. I think it's a bit. I'm allowed to say. It. I think it's a bit fixed. You're allowed to say that. Yeah, I think it is. I don't think it's. A, I don't think it's a fair singing contest. You could make this a campaign of yours, journalistically, to clean up the Eurovision yeah, Song Contest. I think I might do that. I get a petition. Craig in now. Bell on the back foot. Oh, the is still going. Are you? Put it phased out in the ages. I don't know if you've trainers on today. Snap <laughs> stuff. Good stuff. Been walking to the ground, you see. Craig in there. Bell the face. It was a straight one. I've been walking from Notting Hill, just about a 40 minute walk. If I uh, describe your kit, it's a mixed bag. A pair of trainers, a pair of jeans. And a brown nice jacket and a tie. I'm done up properly. My shirt is mixed back. <laughs> Craig in there. Not the bell fence. Yeah, no, you definitely got all the small this time. No question. 58 for two. Craig's first day of a bell I think your tailor popped in today. He did, yes. Uh, Tom. I like Craig, I just like the way he, he seems to get up and over. And you see a lot of like yeah. orthodox spin, do a lot of side spin, kind of slingy spin. You know, I like the fact that he's a bit old fashioned with Tim May in the nineties. Yes. I used to love watching him while he used to get up and over and he'd try and encourage the drive. Robin Smith, I don't know if he's listening, but he used to do Smithy for this time, the judge for driving through the offside through the game, wonderful ability to just get the ball dipping at the last minute and Craig's trying to do that. He was one of the most attacking finger spinners of sort of modern era. Well I think he was the one that encouraged that foot and a half outside of the yeah. yeah. Try and beat the outside edge as well. Before that most officers would ball an inch outside of Ofstum and try and bowl for control. There's a good spot. New over. Bolt, left arm over, bowls to Cook, down leg side. There's a big appeal, I didn't hear anything, I didn't see anything, and nor did the umpire. And New Zealand don't review it. There's just a little fence outside leg stump, a terrible way to get out. Well, there's been a few, uh, well, there's been two today, of strangled down the leg side. So the England can't afford one of them of their own, stop the fire back. Michael, this is one for you, we've had a some kind of message to do with cricket and the Eurovisions. It's one for you. <laughs> You've had your experience with voting programmes. Yeah. Bold in now. Oh, Crook nearly played a pull shot. It would have been ill-advised. It was too far away from his body. I like this. On the, uh, the T20 Blast programme, daggers, isn't it? Tonight, excellent. Last night they were coming up with the Eurovision cricketers. Best so far. Can you add? Neil Fairbrotherhood. <laughs> Of man, Zahir Abbas, Zahir Abbas, Zahir Abbas, is it? Nathan Booksfizz, saw him bowl the other day for Lancashire. Lou, Lulu Vincent or Waterloo Vincent, bolt in now, cook defence. <laughs> you know just how I just absented myself from that, from that little. You just refused this. Yeah, it was a, it was a refusal. I wanted to just step in. Daggers, he'd have been all over that last night. Music. Big Prince fan, Tony Dagnall. Three slips in the gully, here's Bolt in now, Bolt. Good defence on the offside. Well, there's not a great deal happening through the air. There's a hit less than has been so far. And so far, this pair of looked uh, in control. They Kind of just manoeuvre the ball into any kind of weather square leg bound. Two riders going out there for a, a little bit of the mine, maybe ball him a short ball. Playing the hook shot. Bolt in again. Cook nice to across. Very straight back. Played forward well today. Crowd gone. I think they're uh, the reservations at restaurants nearby. I think they've gone to get settled for the Eurovision. <laughs> in front of the sofa, got the fire on. It's a bit chilly, isn't it? Fire on. 
involved in again. Leaves outside just on in the 18th over the innings. England 58 for two. Two T20 blast commentaries this week. Leicester v Durham on Thursday night. And then Sussex v Middlesex on Friday night after the first Good games on there. Glenn Maxwell is going to make his uh, Yorkshire debut tomorrow in four days. OK. He's now Finch. He's injured. So he's... Uh, was always going to come over and, and play in the, the NatWest Blast, but the availability came about for the four-day stuff. He was going to take it, and it looks like he'll play tomorrow, which will be interesting at Somerset. Mm -hmm. Big show. Craig, new over long as off spin into Bell. And Bell tries to run it down the third man and misses. Gave himself room, his weight was back. A little bit of bounce as well for Craig. Sweden have won. Craig in again. Bell defends on the back foot this time, kicks the ball away. Might have had a bit of underspin on it, heading back towards off stump. So was that, that was outfits of that were all those years ago. Don't we? Books fizz. I'm a bit of that, don't we? Yeah. Craig in. Bell works it around the corner. The man's up on one, though. Good captaincy. And saving one behind square on the leg side. Just getting a bit of bounce because of the yeah. overspin. He's kind of getting dip and it's just bouncing off a, a length, which is a good sign for the off spinner. Craig in again, wide of the off stump. That was an example of what you're just talking about, the Tim May line. Well, wide of off stump, inviting the off drive. Drawn forward, defends to short mid wicket. So McCullum's on the move again. He's going to put himself at silly point, which is Kane Williamson from extra cover to mid off. So there's a massive fake in space. Cover points on the boundary. That's a four option. It's basically mid off right round to cover point. Craig again. Bell does come down the track. Beautiful shot. Controlled shot. Got there on the full toss. He's bunted it to extra cover. Picks up a couple. That's good use of his feet. Sometimes I feel with Ian Bell early on in his innings, he can be committed to playing a big shot than using his feet. That time he just adjusted and eased it into the covers for two. More thoughts from you, Michael. I'll make way for Brian Bond. Yeah, you're right. I think he, uh, he does sometimes commit to the big stroke against spin, but I like that. Just dancing down. And Controlled stroke into that vacant space that McCullum had just created. Trail by 74 now. Oh, desperate to get into stops. Senior pair of Bell and Cook still out in the middle. Long way to go, 12 of us. I don't think we'll get the 12, we'll probably get 8, maybe 7 or 8 of those. Well, if Craig bowls, I suppose you, you, that'll help it along a little bit. But you're right, they, they don't want to lose another wicket now, and you're sort of caught in the balance too, aren't you? If, Picking up the runs are there without taking too many risks. And, uh, they'll be pretty satisfied if they can come away with uh, 90 for two, perhaps, in the next half hour, somewhere around about that. We'll wait and see. Still plenty of attack from McCullum with three slips in the gully. Point, extra cover, mid on, in close. Mid wicket. And that cover field minute being brought to the Leg, gully. Gully, long leg. The cover area has been opened up. Here's Bolt from the pavilion in Bowles to Cook, and Cook gets one on the leg stump, which he carries down towards long leg, just wide. I don't know how close that was to a couple who was brought across to the onside. It's a brilliant catcher. We saw a couple in the World Cup at Backward Point, which were the highest order, and this isn't far away at all. It flies past him, actually. Yeah. <laughs> That would have been a, a move by McCullum, wouldn't it? It was close. He, uh, of course, he's fairly athletic too, Gup, he covers a bit more ground than many other players can do in the outfield. He's very, very athletic. But, uh, didn't work in his favour this time, so uh, back out towards 
the outfield towards mid wicket region now. Just the two shots for the bowl. He's going to go round the look at the bell. 61 for 2. 134 runs behind on the first innings. And 12 and 11 overs remaining after this. An overcast evening, a little bit gloomy. Lights are on though. Here's Sir Bolt bowling to uh, Bell. Brings him forward in defence. Firm placement of the ball now towards mid off. Cut off by Anderson coming in from cover. The, the rain came earlier today and the, the lights were on for quite some time. It was very, very gloomy then. It's not such uh, a gloomy afternoon. I don't even think those lights are, are on yet. Up, ready to go. There's Bolt around the wicket to uh, Bell, and Bell is tugging on the pad a little bit too high, though. But he's beaten through his defence. Is good delivery. Yeah, I think that's gone straight through into the uh, um, jewels. There you can. Yeah, well, you don't just get hit on the fly. Late feel like that. It's a late swing down the slope. Yes, yeah, a little bit uncomfortable. Mr. Cook has come along and said to him, take all the time you want, Belly. Tell him to take about 25 minutes. <laughs> yes. Well, it's... Oh.